All right, y'all, it's the day before bow season. You guys are currently on my head, as you can see. We're gonna be hunting with the recurve in the morning, going after that buck that we had found. And uh, hopefully we get to lay his eye on him. I've never, we've been able to lay his eyes on him. I've never got to see the deer yet, but I'm thinking he's a big buck. I'm gonna shoot at that clay pigeon down there on the left. I already busted a few. Now I'm shooting all brought heads, just old brought heads. These are a lot different weight classes. Um, I'll be shooting muzzy in the morning. So far the muzzy brought head out of my bow, which is a good thing, has shot the best. It's the one that usually busts the clay pigeon, so wherever it's at. It is in here something, right here. You all see all the dirt on it. That's a, that's a muzzy, it's just a target tip but my camera's on the left we should be okay we shouldn't hit it no i've never i have one time before and it almost knocked my gopro off my head shooting like this but i'm gonna try to angle you guys to the left a little bit so when i draw you can kind of look down the arrow with me you guys may be on a tree limb in the morning or my bow hook like overlooking me watching me draw back and stuff i think it'd be a lot better to have the angle on me but we'll see how tomorrow morning folds out and if i can or not but here we go this is about 25 yards 20 25 somewhere in there it's a long way and got it first shot busted it um the only thing is when i draw back like that i can't get a full really really good release because the gopro hit me in my head and if i put you guys over here that just ain't good so tell you what we're gonna shoot one more arrow and if i hit anywhere near that this is my muzzy this is the broadhead i'm hunting with so we might as well use it if i hit really good i'm not worried about heart shooting the deer i'm just worried about lung shooting him you know if i hit him like that that's good but we're gonna draw and see if we can make this happen again and if we do tomorrow morning if as long as he's within 20 yards he's gonna be a hurt deer we're just gonna come back aim see that's pretty that's pretty decent as y'all can see i'm pretty sure you guys saw it. my string is touching my uh gopro so in all reality my bow is not level you know but Anyways, I'm going to fast forward you guys into the mall morning. You guys can probably see that both arrows on the other GoPro. I mean, that's good enough to kill a deer. I'm happy. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. got it first shot busted it um we're just gonna come back aim see that
currently 8.05 in the morning. You guys are really close. First time ever using that thing up. I was sitting here, I had the number two real bad. So I started moving around to get up out of, you know, the stand. I brought toilet paper with me this morning. Literally, as soon as I started getting down and stuff, there's two deer coming right across the bank. And there was a small doe and a big doe. I didn't see the other deer. But I was like, forget it, man. You know, I was like, we need deer meat, so if she comes close enough, I'm gonna kill her. So I get the bow, get the GoPro on, and they come under these pin oak things, or I don't know what they are, they're probably oak trees. They're dropping a lot of nuts, and they was last week when we were in here too. So anyway, I got her bow, we stood here as you all seeing. I'm not sure if I got her on film, she was only about 30 yards in that brush. The other deer was about 60 yards on the bank, and uh, I stood here, and then all morning, my wind has just been blowing in a circle. It's going to bedding, it's going behind me, it's going down in this bottom. My wind's just getting thrown everywhere. It's high. You guys can probably hear it, you know. We got high winds this morning. Anyway, the wind circulated. I had my wind indicator. She started snorting, stomping, and I just went ahead and, you know, she don't know I'm here. She smells me. But I went ahead and now it's blowing straight back into bedding right now. I did that and it was blowing right to her and they just kind of looked around. They didn't know what was going on, but they knew something wasn't right. So they got on out of here. So I was debating on whether to sit here. I was like, well, I should, should I sit here? Wait on this deer? Maybe, maybe the buck still ain't came. You know, and he still might not have. But as I'm sitting here, straight back over in bedding, about three or four different times and then now it's all silent so all right y'all been coming down off this hill years ago this right here was a big four wheeler trail bare dirt completely bare it used to go straight up right up to the house and through this trail back in the day when it was used I mean there was mud paths of deer that would come across now I frog hunted if you guys can see that water I used to frog hunt in this and this used to be one swamp big swamp right here just looked like a miniature pond I'd say seven eight years ago long time ago me and my cousins and this bank's always been thick, always. Now, if you follow that bank and you go straight up in that point, that's where we found them buck tracks. And he was coming into here, and then I hit a set of tracks, footprints that he was going back. So this morning, after, you know, we had her running with them deer, I was like, well, instead of me going and, you know, stripping completely and coming back, I said, I'll just walk and use this trail, this old trail, get to the house because my house is just right up over the bank and uh, I come through here y'all and once I got right here I, it was easy walking but coming through the beginning right where we used to come out at bad matted thick as can be and uh, we're here and I thought a path was coming across out of here it was like mowed real flat but it must not be because I tried to walk out in there and it's sank is dangerous. If I happen to sink back here, no one will ever find me. So I said I'm not. I only got about 50 yards of trail until I hit the end. And uh, I know that buck's bedded. He's using this as a bedding area sometimes in this thicket, but he's not using it often. So I just want to thank you all for watching and stuff. I know this video is mainly all talking. A little, maybe a little bit of a deer you i think i had the camera on or i'm almost certain so who knows but if y'all enjoyed smash that like button and if you haven't already subscribe and share with your friends tell them come on over and watch some hunting buddy watch me mess up and not know what i'm doing but uh who knows so i'll see you all in the next episode of hunt fishing hot outdoors